If the judge refuses a new bail request, Zimmerman could stay in jail until he goes on trial. That trial is not expected to begin until next year. We speak now with his attorney, Mark Amara. Good morning. Good morning. There seems to be, in the way you express that, some tension between you and your client. Is there? No, there's no tension. Certainly there were some frustrations with realizing that what was, I truly believe, an oversight, or at least a, a mistake that they made, uh, has now truly come to bear on Mrs. Zimmerman directly with his incarceration. It'll come to bear not only the fact that he's got to go back to jail, but also his credibility as a, in terms of what he says? Absolutely. I think the family made a mistake. Uh, I think it was out of fear and maybe some frustration with having their life turned completely upside down and not having a good level of trust with anyone that they were dealing with. Um, but I think they realized it was a mistake. They look forward to the opportunity to clearing that up with Judge mm -hmm. Lester. Explain what you mean. The, the, the family, what? They, they thought they didn't have to do this or they thought they'd be misrepresented? What? I, I truly want that explanation to go directly to the person who deserves it, Judge Lester, but not to sound coy. My understanding is that the family who had been put upon with being thrown out of their house, their jobs, their schools, their fa other family members in hiding, for whatever reason, they thought the need to protect some of that money for a very uncertain future. I think now they realize that they should have simply trusted Judge Lester and the process to work with them fairly, even if they had not been treated fairly in the past. And I think they'll clear that up with Judge Lester. Uh, so you understand and, and, and appreciate the fact that the judge did the right thing in putting him back in jail? Judge Lester gave us all a very strong signal that he and he alone will run the courtroom and that everyone is going to tell the truth. So I'm certain that not only the Zimmerman family, but all other witnesses who come before Judge Lester had better tell the truth and nothing but the truth if they're going to be treated fairly. And what will you say to him at the bond hearing? I think the Zimmerman family needs to apologize to the court for having uh, not given him full information. And I'm going to ask the court to rely on the fact that Mrs. Zimmerman has, but for this event, treated uh, the court fairly, treated the system fairly. He surrendered himself now twice. He's, of course, voluntarily given the police department all of the statements that they've wanted. He's involved themselves in whatever testing the state has wanted or the uh, defense has wanted. I think he's doing everything he should do. I think they were just acting out of fear and frustration, but they don't have that luxury. Mark Amara, thank you for joining us this morning.